Hey there, it's Jeff again, and I'm back with some more boot Legos. These are from uh, Temu, and I think I got like five of them in here. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. These are boot Lego Spider Man, Spider Men. Different little alternate versions of Spider Man. If you are, uh, if you watch those Into the Spider Verse cartoons and all this stuff, where Marvel has different worlds and different Spider Man and all that. So uh, let's open one here. <clears throat> I'm going to build these today. Let's see here. Oh, they got the legs and uh, the torso already put together. He's got this big web. They use these a lot in uh, Spider-Man builds. Okay, there goes the hand. No snap on that one. No snap. Okay, oh, get in there. Okay. Now this one, the way the webs are silvery on his... Uh, chest and everywhere else on him it reminds me of the uh, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies there we go um, let's see he has a, a round face mask that you can put on or you can leave him like this uh, what the heck oh I see. <laughs> I thought it fit over his head okay instead of his head because some of them you can put over or whatever yeah I know that's a little bulbous a little big but you know what I'm gonna, I like it I'm gonna leave it like that I'll have an extra spider-man head that I can uh, do stuff with and he come with a stand that's good and an extra hand gotta hand it to him right all right and he's got his web. Yeah, I know. Okay. Let's start with number two. And this one is like a dark blue and red Spider-Man with like an open face mask. But again, you can... Yeah, see, this helmet is big. You can slip it over his head. And look, he's got like armor. Oh, that's interesting. I'm going to have to... I'm gonna think I'm gonna put the the helmet on and the armor and everything and there we go a little snap there I don't know why I like the snap but I do excuse me wow all right let's see ooh I just uploaded two different Lego videos well one's boot Lego and one's oh I gotta take his head off that's right one's boot Lego and one's a uh, regular Lego Come on, get on there. Don't make me angry, Mr. McGee. Mm. Okay. Whoops. There we go. Zoop. And zoop. Yeah, this one's got like four different little eyes. Hi, honey. Four different little eyes. See the little ones and then the bigger ones. Okay, so. Got an extra hand on him, too. All right, let's start another one here. These were really cheap. Honestly, I don't remember the price. I remember they were cheap. That's why I ordered them. This one's like Spider-Man, half Spider-Man, half Venom. So, let's see here. All right. Okay, get the Venom, got the Spider-Man on, we'll get the Venom on, there we are, oop, he popped off there, come on, get on there, there we go, and this one's got like a Venom tendril type thing, that, oops, little Venom tendril business, and a stand, I love it when they come with a stand, I really do. Because it's so convenient having extra stands. Because a lot of times I put them together and I put the stands with them. And sometimes they don't come with stands. So, you understand? <laughs> Bunch of webs. Webs, webs. Web. 
bunch of stringy webs. Wow, this one's like an armor. Look at the different designs on that. I don't know what the deal is with that one. I haven't read Spider-Man for a little bit. I need to get caught up on my Spider-Man comics. I've got a bunch on my tablet I need to read. I'm quite behind. I'm quite behind on all my reading because I'm not happy with the direction that Marvel's going with their storytelling. I love the characters, but I don't like all this political nonsense they keep throwing in there. And then we have another helmet, and this one will fit on his head, so I'm actually going to just put it on. I'm tired of the political nonsense with all these uh, Marvel comics and movies and I'm behind on the movies, I'm behind on the comics, and I might just stay that way, I don't know. Okay, and let's do this one here. This is the last one. Oops, there we go. This one's a, uh, it's black suited Spider-Man, but it's uh, half Venom, half uh, black suited Spider-Man. So, we'll just, uh, Pop him together real quick. Get in there. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, that's the sound. That's the sound. Okay. Okay. There we are. Okay. And let's put, we'll swap the heads. Yeah, that's a unique head. We'll swap it. <clears throat> Isn't that different? Okay, I'm going to set them up. And I'll be right back. Okay, and here is the finished set of them that I bought. There's five different ones. Uh, you, got a, you got like a Spider-Man Venom mix and a Spider-Man Venom mix in a different color. Uh, I like this armored one the best. I like this one. That one's pretty cool. And uh, this one back here is really, really cool too. I put the variant heads on the, the better the better heads, the bigger ones, just because the figures always have the generic head with the stud like that on top. And I thought I'd try something different. So, but that gives me a couple extra uh, Spider-Man and Venom heads if I ever want to have like a Peter Parker just wearing his mask or something like that. I could always do that. But yeah, uh, these were from Tem Temu. Temu. Uh, they they were very inexpensive. Now for let's look at it for play for a child. Yeah, he'll be able to play with these. They they seem pretty sturdy. They're not bad. I mean, the kid would have fun with them. They wouldn't be disintegrating in his hand unless he was a little extra rough. But he, you know, played okay. It would be fine. Now, for fast for play, but for display, they'll be great also because they're sturdy and they look good. I don't know if they're ABS plastic. I need to look into that, but... They look great. They're stuff that Mar Mar well, Marvel, uh, Lego and Marvel together, they haven't put anything out like this. I've never seen a half Spider-Man, half Venom, or this one too, mix of the black suits from Lego and Marvel together. I haven't seen that. Or neither this armored one. So if you like Spider-Man, and you want to save some money because they were really cheap you know I think I want to say these were like a buck each or 87 cents each with free shipping but I'd have to look but nevertheless you're paying around a buck so you figure an average figure at you know say you go to Walmart and you want a blind bag for a Lego you're looking like five six bucks for just one figure and you don't even know what you're getting because it's in a blind bag this way you can pick out the one you want for cheap and you get it. So Temu takes about a week or two to ship. Yeah, AliExpress takes about a month or two because it's from China so it comes over slower. But you know what? I love these bootlego generic Lego figures. I think they're great. 
I've got a big collection of them. My wife and I, we like to get these. So, yeah. That's it for this video. I will talk to you next time.